Oh hey, didn't see you here. So, in streetwear, I would say at a point in time there were two big main hype beast contenders. You had Supreme, people lining up for Supreme every Thursday. I've been one of those guys. Actually, there was the Monday as well because you had to line up then so that you could queue up on, well, we were really. Anyway, and on the other side, you have Bait. Now, Supreme had a recent collaboration with one of my favorite brands for cookies, especially being in the vegan realm, Oreos. So they came up with these $8 packs of Oreos, which are red. And if you're a big hype beast, you can eat some red Supreme Oreos. But what if you're a bait head, huh? What if you want to be banging on your chest like an ape? Then there's no snack for you. There's no snack for you. So I've taken it upon myself with my girlfriend holding the camera. You can do that thing where they shake it up and down. So yeah, that's it. To create the snack for the bait heads, we're gonna go head to head with Supreme's Oreo cookies and make our own bait cookies. Now we haven't done this before, but I've done a little bit of research to create some classic camo cookies and then we're gonna decorate it at the end, hopefully. We haven't actually thought about this yet. I'm kind of doing this as I go along and we're gonna make them look big. Maybe in the thumbnail there'll be a picture of what it will look like, but who knows. Let's get into what we're gonna have to do. First of all, all we have to do is create a generic cookie dough. So if you're vegan, then go ahead and create a vegan cookie dough. You can still do this. The only key thing that you're gonna need is the color of the camo. Typical colors of baked camo, go ahead and we get the, uh, the red and the purple and the green. I asked my girlfriend to get me some food coloring stuff. There was no green, but it's fine because you know what? I wanted to make purple because you might know that recently I've been loving the purple shit. Got the purple court purples. My uh, keyboard is a purple team. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and make purple baked camo cookies today. But you can make whatever color you want. When I called up my girl this morning, they said that there wasn't any purple, but you know what? I knew there wasn't gonna be purple, but thanks to Mrs. Jones in reception. I know what colors make purple. We've got red and blue. You see that? I've never seen this shit before. I asked her to get food coloring. They didn't have food coloring either. But it's fine because we've got food color gel. Is that focusing? Yeah, food color gel. And it's extra strong. So, you know, perfect for us bait lovers out here. So yeah, we're gonna get making the cookie dough now. We'll do a, a few little slow clips of that and then we'll get into the interesting part. Just so, it's better ones, there's so many better ones. No, no, I found a really good one. How do you know it's really good? Because it says best. <laughs> best cookie. <laughs> <laughs> she just pissed. She's good to go. Like, how dare you insult me? There's literally a whole book that says step by step. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, but what about the one on the internet? This might not always be the best one. It's right, it's got public. This is critically acclaimed. Is that what you think is the best? Whatever gets published, remember, it's whoever chooses to get it published gets published. Maybe the people that made that one had an African sounding name. Ooh, Sugar butter nice. cookies. Butter cookies. Oh no, we're not about you. She's ready. She's ready. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. These look so young. So I've just created a stencil. Literally, I've done two. We'll see which one's better. I've done this by using some baking paper, which you should have anyway, because you're baking cookies, damn it. And I put this on top of my phone, found a stencil, and just traced it over. And we're gonna transfer this over to some card to make an actual stencil that will work when we're gonna be sugar coating the camel cookies. I'm just reading the ingredients, the ingredients, not the ingredients, the instructions. And they're saying to knead the tube before you snip the end of the tube with scissors and add small amounts. Like I said, we need to make three different shades of purple. So the way I see it is I can make our normal purple by using half of each and half of each. And then to create a lighter, leaning towards red, more purple, I use more of the red and less of the blue. And then vice versa with a darker purple. So never used this before. Let's open it and see if it gives us our desired 
Ah, okay. So it looks like you know those um, things that you used to do on your cakes. On your cake. Is it that? No, no, it's not. It's not. I'm gonna need the tubes, like they say. It feels like it's got a lot of air in it, so needing it. Are you gonna are you gonna mix the food coloring together to make the purple or are you gonna mix it in the dough together? Let's see what this looks like. Mm -hmm. And then like, oh I need scissors. Come out blood, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Do a test here. See when we mix equal per portions, portions of the shit, what do we get? It's like that 3D thing, you know what I'm mean? 3D thing. So what does that look like to you? Sudan? I mean, keep in mind this is like really concentrated. So if we put it into the dough, it might come out like nice. Maybe get a little bit on your finger and just spread it out on your finger and see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. So what we're saying then, we're, we're supposed to um, just add it in. Mm -hmm. That's so much. That's so much. You know, for one dough, you need like a drop. But let's see what happens. Because <laughs> no, they said a whole tube is for one thing. So I'm gonna need all this together and see what we get. Yeah. Hopefully oh, oh we God. Get. It's coming together. <laughs> you can see the purple forming. Can you not? I can a little bit, yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. We spent quite a while creating these three different colors. If you don't know colors and you might think, ah, oh, these all look the same, but they're not, I assure you. Here we've got our light purple, our medium purple, and our dark purple. They look, all look pretty ugly. They look like some type of organ type stuff, but it's fine. So basically now is where the camo effect comes into it. So the recipe that we're following, they say that we're supposed to take a little bit of each one and then that's how we form the cookie and basically essentially keep going until we take a little bit of each it creates the camera effect on one cookie and then we're done we bake it and then we're gonna add a few little things on tap to make sure that it actually looks babe style are you ready nice so we're gonna take a little bit of each i'm doing this it's crumbling a little bit but it's fine so here's a little bit of maybe that's why you should put it in the fridge so it doesn't crumble maybe i'll put you in the fridge I'm gonna <laughs> take a little bit of the light purple I'm gonna take a little bit of the medium purple and then we're gonna take a little bit of the dark okay put them together let's hope this turns out all right so they do look very similar <laughs> in, co <laughs> in color but there we go. can you see the different tones you can see the different tones you're not looking closely but light dark medium and that's one let's keep going They smell good. So whilst I was doing this, my sister was kind enough to actually create the stencils that we're gonna use. So we've got the Babe Star, star which can be used on some of the cookies. And we've got the classic Babe Head. With this one, what we're trying to do is make sure that the camel is the actual ape head and then the sugar, for, you'll, you'll see what happens. And we've got the ape by ape. And then we've got the Milo monkey as well. So basically what you're telling me to do, we just use the ice and sugar. And that's it, and just do the, so let's do the, to get an executive assistance. So, which one are we doing first? This one. This one? Yeah. Come on, man. Put some effort into it, bro. <laughs> do you want to do the reveal? <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! This is crazy! Okay, we're going to finish the other ones. Not terrible. It's not terrible. I'll, I'll tell you that. There was a little bit of, um, because you're right, they're not very smooth. Eee! That's a bait head. That's a bait head. And that's it, we're done. We made the baked cookies. Way better than the Supreme ones and they didn't cost you $8. You can make as many as you like with the ingredients. I've got one here that I'm just gonna taste test. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna taste like normal soft cookies. It really depends on the recipe that you choose. Look at that, oh my gosh. You break it in and you can see the camel on the inside as well. These are dank. I hope you guys try this recipe at home. They're amazing. Impress all your hype beast friends. And if you like the video, give me a like. Subscribe for more content. Take care.